Butler's down the drain, so he stops. <laughs> Back to the centre, and we see Hawthorne 7 uh, 9 51, and looking mighty good. Uh, new ball coming out as it out. Yeah, I think that one out of the ground. I, I don't think that'll help Aston much. I think they want about five new balls, particularly down there in their forward and when the ball is up the other end of the ground. They want, they want one each, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. Back to the centre. They're only uh, 10 points. They're 41 points down at the moment, the nine minute mark. Back to the centre. This is turning out to be a nice one horse race. Up it goes. Knocked out that time by Torbert. Kicked away by Rice. Has a go for Tuck. Tall Hawthorne as he drops the ball short in front is Payton. Punched away again by uh, Scanlon. Comes out to uh, Watson. That's the first time I've seen him touch the ball. Back it goes to Martello. Back again it goes to Rice. They're doing as they like, Hawthorne, as it goes out to that forward pocket. Coming out as Matthews. A kick across towards the centre-half forward position. And Scanlon takes a mark. And a free kick in the bark. Free kick to... Uh, no, it's Bell. I'm sorry. Bell it is to take that one. Bell goes for a pass. It's a shocking one out to... Uh, out to uh, Fletcher, but he's on his own. He's got plenty of time if he hurries up and finally boots the ball back towards that half forward line. But there's no one there for uh, Essendon. Picked up by uh, Holman. A hand pass coming over to uh, Jeff Ablett, who jutes the ball back to the forward pocket and a mark taken down there by uh, Robin Close of Essendon. He'll be looking downfield, possibly hopeful for Roberts to mark. The kick coming on its way now. The kick won't travel to Roberts. In front is Ablett. Coming over the back to Spoles, Abler plays on quickly, a hand pass over to Michael Tuck, he's in trouble, got a long hand pass to Ward Rowlings, the ball won't bounce kindly for him, oh, Steve rolling through there was Negan, but oh, Andrews picked Rowlings up on that occasion also, Rowlings still going, not getting much help from his teammates either, and then he got fifth again, Martello comes on the scene, we could have a bit of a dust up, we want something anyhow, it was a pretty dull game, now Knights came into Andrews, and a round by round description coming up now, there's a Vanderhaar in there, he let a I don't know whether he let one go or not, the umpires come out. Kenny Fletcher went down like a stunned Gosling. And now the umpires are talking to uh, all the players concerned, Andrews, Peter Knights. That's not a bad buddy for a young umpire, is it? Louis Rowan Saws having his fifth BFL game. Now Harvey Lyons going down talking to Peter Knights. I think he should be telling him to calm down. It's not worth getting reported for. Lyons having a good chat to, uh, uh, to Peter Knights. The umpires have saw Alice Hudson up to the goal square too. To, just got, hello, it's on again, Kenny Robertson this time. Oh, it could be on any time. There's a shot up further up Phil Rollins just had a shot for goal, if you're interested, and put it through. So Hawthorne moves their score on to eight goals, nine. <laughs> Bit of excitement, Luke, I like this. Eight, nine, 57, and Essendon on one goal for 10 points. And there's a bit of an excitement, you can feel it in the air now. Anything can happen. You can say that again, and uh, that's most unusual for Knights. He ran from the centre-half back uh, position to upend uh, Andrews, and uh, there's Don Scott. He's been in a few things today, and let's see what the action is, because the game itself is not too hot, but Remember there's plenty before, of fireworks. I said before that Scotty had stirred them up a bit on the outer side. Oh, I think position. they might have been stirred up before that Andrews has been having a go there too, and let's see what's going to happen now. Jack down, she goes. Scott going in again. A chance now for Walsh to kick the ball. Walsh to kick the ball back. Hockinghorn takes the mark and uh, he's got that out there on the wing position, a 15 metre penalty as he goes for a play on now. Over to Manane, and Manane drives it over the centre half forward position. And a good mark taken there by Neagle, quickly plays on. Hits the ball out towards the wing position, coming out there is uh, Crow and Crow's got the mark, a long hand pass. Oh, bounces the wrong way for Walsh, he's in trouble now as he tries to get it out. Eston fumbling the ball badly, kicked off the ground by Crow. Picked up here now by Bell, driven around towards the half forward line for Reston. Up they go. Had a chance now. He's paid the mark to O'Hallan. I think that was a bit, a uh, little bit timid that when he hardly held the ball at all. And a 15 metre penalty against the Roberts. What they have to do, Lou, is make sure they get control of the game, and that's exactly what they're doing. Is make is penalising every little thing that happens. Okay, there we go again. Back towards the centre of the ground. It's Vanderhaar. Oh, he uh, couldn't get the kick, just about tripped up O'Halloran again. There's going to be plenty of firework before this match is over, I'd say. Back it goes, and a chance here from Mark to Marcello. Good play as he gets the ball over to Matthews, and he's down. There'll be a free kick up the field here, and a mark to Hudson as well. He could have lost that, you know, because Hudson puts close out now. Well, it was a free kick yeah. up the field in any case, Jack, so we wait now for Hudson to go for his third goal. He's only about... Uh, 45 metres out from goal. You can see the goals in the background there as Hudson comes in for his kick. The kick by Hudson. Not a bad one, but it goes right across the face of goals. 
Up in the air they go, and the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket. Well, Hudson was having that shot for goal. Louis Harvey, Lyons, young player, was talking to Ron Andrews of Essendon. Well, he might have been asking where his relations were going. Bucket well, goes again. Monane sort? overruns the ball. Matthews is in there trying to get it out. And the umpire's going to pay a free kick to Matthews. And he's not too happy, Fletcher, the captain of Essendon. He said, well, what are we supposed to do out there? How are the free kicks going? What are they in favour of Essendon? Uh, Hawthorne. We'll find out in a minute when Mick adds them up. We wait now for Matthews to have his shot from about uh, 35 metres out from goal directly in front. The kick is a good one. One point. Oh, well, the free kicks are even, so we can't growl there, or Eston supporters can't growl there. So it's Hawthorne, eight goals, 10.58 to Eston, one for 10 points. 14 minutes gone, and it's been 14 minutes of fireworks, even though the Bombers aren't playing too well. There's the kick by close to the half of back flank position. Walsh free kicked on that occasion. And Essendon now play on through Walsh down toward Crow, who's out toward the centre of the ground. Oh, I think Knight's called, leave it, and that's what Crow did. And Peter Knight's took the easy chest mark right in the centre of Princes Park. The kick by Knight's travelling back to from whence it came. Martello by himself and made a very and made that mark look a bit harder than it was. There's a, uh, the kick by Martello toward Hudson. Oh, over the top. That was bad football from Murphy. He spilled Hudson completely. He'll get a wrap across the knuckles for that. Here's a chance for Folds now. Driving uh, the kick coming out toward Folds. The Abler doing some balking, looking for a free, free kick. kick Whistle sounds and Abler got it. Abler will take the kick from the half-forward zone. Ball on its way toward the... To Matthews at the back of the pack. Andrews got up. Matthews chips in, took it. Hand pass comes out. Close as there. Newton's there also for Essendon. The little kick comes out of the pack. It won't be any mark. Been tapped out by Payton. Hand pass comes to Matthews. He goes for Hand passes to Hudson. He got it through. He got it through. The umpire hasn't yet indicated if it was a goal because another clash between Hudson and Andrews. The umpire now indicates that that was all clear. And Hudson has kicked his uh, third goal. And Hawthorne moved their score to nine goals, 10-64. I think before this day is out, there will be a report on pretty wise. There's uh, Hudson talking to Murphy. Remember I said that Murphy spoiled him before? Hudson having a pretty good chat to Murphy and saying, don't fly against me. It's hard enough to get it. That's why Hudson was going crook to Andrews. Thanks, Self. Now, Andrews having a few words to say. Well, he's certainly tickled a few guys up. Back to the centre, it goes again. He's bumped a few, too. He's bumped a few as we see the ball kicked out that time by Rice and the mark taken by Fall. But a very haphazard kick and it's picked up by Rice again. He's grabbed. And the free kick will go to Vanderhaar. Vanderhaar at centre field, ready to send the Bombers into attack. They're not scoring much, but they're certainly putting on a pretty uh, fiery display as the ball goes up to the full forwards. And they're all in the air now. Oh, good mark taken by Calvin Moore. Just too strong in the air. That back line is really too strong for the uh, Essendon attack. They've been brushed aside. We see Rowlings take a mark out there at half-back. Quickly play on, get it out wide, looking out there for Knights, but uh, it'll beat him and the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds on the uh, Essendon half-forward line, about 80 metres around from their goal. They're trailing by 54 points at the moment at the 16-minute mark. The ball back into play, going after his Watson. It's about his first touch, and then he couldn't get clear, and the ball is out of bounds again. No, he's given the free kick this time to free Watson. Free kick to Watson. No, well, he was apparently grabbed when he didn't have the ball, and Watson takes that free kick out there on the wing. We wait now for the Bombers to try and get the ball going down there on their four lines. Mighty difficult for them. Down goes uh, Rice, gets a hand pass out to Scott over to Moncrief. They're doing as they like, Hawthorne, far too strong. As the ball goes up to Hudson and close, Hudson got one hand to it. Oh, there's a go for Hudson to kick off the ground. And he kicks the ball up towards that uh, full forward position, picked up by Murphy. The kick is smothered, and the ball goes out of bounds in the forward pocket position. Out of bounds in that forward pocket position. We wait now for the ball to come back into play. It's out of bounds in the forward pocket. Ball back into play now. Pushed out by Torbert, comes back into Manane. There's going to be there some players around there very much. He's fighting three of them this time, and even then they lose it. Picked up by Payton, a hand pass coming over that time to uh, to uh, Ablett. Ablett, Calvin, uh, uh, Kevin Ablett, that is, and the ball is out of bounds, and the free kick will go to Close down there in the forward pocket. Robin Close with the ball, goes for a short pass. That won't help them very much. Little Primer takes the mark, quickly plays on, and going to drive it up to the wing now. But there's no one there, chance for more to mark. He couldn't quite get to that one. Coming out that time was Moncrief. It's finally picked up by Scott, getting a bit of a hoot from the uh, Eston supporter, but he's still doing his job for his club. Punched away by Torbett, grabbed by Tuck. 
showed a bit of brute force that time, trying to get clear. But there's Matthews, he's down by Bell. Umpire called play, and as we see going after his Ablett again. Finally picked up by Peyton to Hudson as his fourth goal coming up. Another goal to Hudson and to Hawthorne. That's Hudson's fourth, and Hawthorne go to ten goals. Then 70 points, and Eston getting the drubbing of their life. One goal for ten points, and we've played 18 minutes of the second quarter. There's 60 points down. If this game goes much further, they'll finish up losing by 170 points. There's this goal again by Hudson. A good shepherding there by Murphy, too, to let Hudson go in and get that goal. I still think he would have got it without Murphy shepherding. Oh, yeah, I did, but there was still good football. Notice, Louis. When uh, Scott had to kick with his right foot, that he was forced to kick right-footed, he went down and he grabbed his thigh. So that's why he's been kicking left foot all these last few weeks. He's got a very bad right leg. He's down in the turf, as a matter of fact, at present. The ball hooked out. The chance for Essendon to go for it. Nifty never, not too nifty on that occasion. Giving away the free kick. And the free kick going to Don Scott. He won't kick with the right foot this time. He'll either hand pass or kick with his left foot because he's got a bad right thigh. Donnie Scott looking upfield. There's his little left foot pass coming out of it. A chance now for Folds of Essendon to turn Hawthorne out, which he does, but kick straight towards Peter Knights. He can get enough kick for that pass or two. There's the kick by Walsh. No he drives it into the forward pocket, but nobody home whatsoever, and the ball just trickles out of bounds for a boundary throw, and, of course, in the forward pocket. Jack, that... let's be honest about it. They're terribly frustrated, Essendon, just the same, aren't they? They're oh, bewildered they and they're frustrated. They've just gone to pieces, and the only thing they can... Uh, go to now is probably to uh, unbalance Hawthorne by a bit of, uh, you know, hard, vigorous football. Well, I, I wish them well, but I don't think it's going to work. No, it Hawthorne is not. are too, too old in the head for that. They're tough campaigners. There's a kick by Tuck to the outer side, looking for Kevin Ablett. Can't find him. We'll see a boundary throw in take place in the position, which is half forward on the flank for Essendon, out of side of the ground, some 80 to, or possibly 85 metres out from goal. Boundary throw in taking place. Simon Madden opposed to Don, uh, Don Scott. No one got a tap on that occasion. The ball surprisingly came back to Scott. His hand pass was ineffective, but it's been made fairly good by Manane. Hawthorne now go forward once again through the boot of Rollings. He drives up to the half-forward zone. There's a chance once again for Hudson. Just stayed there. They all ran past him. Hudson looks for a short pass, a beautiful pass, and finds Jeff Ablett. Only 25 metres out from goal. That was a magnificent pass for Hutcher. Could have easily fired for the goal, but he saw Ablett in a better position than himself, and he put it right down his throat. He's already kicked four, and that could have been five because he could have ran another 10 metres and made a sure goal, but this has made a safer bet as Ablett fires. And it's through the uh, four... No, one point again. Well, I think Hudson might have been better off firing, but it was unselfish play and intelligent play on the part of Hudson, so we see... Hawthorne go to 10, 11, 71 to uh, Essendon, 1 for 10 points. 21 minutes gone of the th uh, second quarter and waiting now for the ball to come back. Kicked out by Robin Close. Oh, they're all jumping up before acceptance. This is the free kick. And the free kick will go against uh, Andrews. It'll go to Martello. He's not very happy at all. The umpire said he, the elbow was used. OK, the ball across by Martello. A chance for Lee Matthews. There's no one down there in defence. They're just doing it easy. The Hawthorne uh, forwards and uh, playing under very little pressure from the Eston uh, defence. Well, that's an experience on Primus part. Well, though, he should have been on, uh, on Matthews. There's the kick now by Matthews. The kick. Missed. This is well, he's off target. It's through for one point. And they go to one goal, 12, 72 points. 10, 12. 10, 12. What am I talking about? 10 goals, 12, 72. To uh, Eston, one for 10 points. 22 minutes gone of this second quarter. And by golly, the Bombers are getting the thrashing of their life at the moment. There's the kick by Robin Close toward Andrews, but he couldn't take it. It's been tapped back. Michael Tucker just about put this one through. The kick on its way won't, won't score. Close getting out in front of Hudson. <coughs> Pardon me, and taking that mark. Tuck normally uses a, a torpedo punt kick. That time he went for the drop punt. There's the kick by Robin Close coming back toward uh, Scott in the pack. Got, just tried to punch the ball down, which was successful. Andrews breaking away for Essendon. A hand pass goes straight toward Montreux. He hand passes back to Martello, who tried to tap it further forward for Manane. Bell going in for Essendon, being tackled by Matthews. The hand pass comes out to Martello once again. The kick, not a good one. Goes out toward Kevin Ablett. He's on his left foot too. Goes goalward for Hawthorne. That looks pretty good. The umpire looks over the top and indicates only one point again. So Hawthorne off target. Luckily enough for the Essendon supporters, they are now 10 goals, 13, 73 points, and Essendon on one goal for 10 points, and the ball back with Robin Close. Ball back into play again by Robin Close. A mighty good kick out of that half-back line. In front that time was uh, 
Ball marked here by Newton. Quickly plays on. Shoots it over the half forward line. Punched away from Roberts. Grabbed here now by Roberts as he sends the ball up to the full forward zone. But there's no one there. And Calvin uh, Moore on his own just stops the ball and it's out of bounds. That forward line has completely lost. You could build a four-storey building down there for them from the Eston attack point of view. I don't know who's supposed to be in full forward at present. I don't think anyone else down there knows either because there's no one around there when the ball gets down there. They're all that frustrated. The ball back into play again. At the back was Knights. There's a go for Roberts. He's grabbed. He drops the ball. Umpire said play on. He's got it again. He fires. And they put it through or not? Oh, thank heavens for that. So they've kicked their second goal. They go to two goals for 16 points. To Hawthorne, 10-13. 73 points at the 24-minute uh, mark of the second quarter. It's about time a goal came up. And there's the bloke that kicked it. He had about five chances to get it too. He could I have thought, lost it easy too, I thought they? he gave away the free kick. When he was tackled, he dropped yeah. that, you know. Yeah. Uh, the umpire must have felt sorry for him. And uh, he gave another chance. Well, the so. umpire can't do much damage now. Giving a few charities away. Not that they would do, but it wouldn't hurt. No, it wouldn't hurt. It helped, really. It helped us too. I don't think I've, I've never been asleep in a football match in my life, but this could be the first time. At the centre bounce, the ball going down. Scott doing the ruck work. Uh, but Grab will take the free kick. He's too experienced for Madden. He's giving away a lot of free kicks, Simon Madden. Hand pass finds Lee Matthews. Packs form up, being punched down by Tuck. Intelligent football, straight toward Hudson, who put his body in nicely but didn't gain possession. Murphy couldn't control it either. It's on the turf, hooked out. It's a chance now for Fletcher. He went through the pack but left the pill behind. Here's Tuck now from the forward pocket, picks up on the left foot. Drives in with about 15 metres a goal. Another opportunity for Hawthorne. It can't be picked up here by Murphy. He's got, he's got the fumbles. Had the ball kicked away. He's still in business, though. Got a hand pass back to Lee Matthews. His ball's tapped away. Don Scott comes charging through. Hand pass, not a very good one. It's been picked up by Bell. It travels down towards Andrews in the centre of Prince's Park. A Knight pushing the back, holding the man decision. will take the free kick. Free kick to Knights. Knights was in the middle of a bit of a... A fracas there before, but he seems to settle down now as he gets the ball back. Coming across there was Moncrief, couldn't hold the mark. Ball finally shot over there to uh, Monane, a shot for goal. In front is close of Hudson, but Hudson's still on his tail, but the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds in the forward pocket position, about 45 metres around from the Hawthorne goal. There, 10 goals, 13 to Eston, 2-4. At the 25-minute uh, mark of the second quarter, as Matthews going to have a snap for goal. Look out and put in now, he's going for a hand pass. Over there to uh, Murphy, back here again to Rowlings, a fire for goal, and the umpire didn't even move. And that's Hawthorne's uh, 11th goal on the board and Rowlings' uh, second goal. So it's Hawthorne 11 13 79 to um, Essendon 2 4 16, 26 and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. And things are getting worse and worse and worse for the Bombers. They put a bit of life into this quarter when they started to go in a bit hard, but I think uh, all the punch and fire has been knocked out of them because the experience and the toughness of this Hawthorne side. There's Don Scott. He certainly doesn't mess about. He looks as though he's been right through the mill, but he's come out pretty strongly. He certainly has, Louis. He couldn't test the ruck again and got the tap down to Matthews. He couldn't take it. Tapped it out nicely. Oh, that was a real soccer job there uh, by Ablett. That was Kevin Ablett. Got a kick up to uh, Payton. Hand pass comes out and uh, Hudson in the van takes the mark in front of Close. 15 metres. Oh, of... Gee, Robin Close, you've made 15 metres. Have a look at that for 15 metres. But just the same, he shouldn't have done it. He'd got the mark and then he knocked it out of his hand. That was and I think play. he's had a double 15 metre job there because I think he said something to umpire Harvey Lyons because that, believe you me, that's about 30 metres. Harvey Lyons marking the spot there. You can put your glasses down now. If Hudson misses this, I'll go home. Should have given him 60 metres for the foolish thing he did. Yes. Honestly. Hudson going for his fifth goal. The crowd tells the story. And the scoreboard moves on. Essendon on two goals for 16 and Hawthorne on 12 goals, 13. 85 points. The time clock showing that we're nearly at half time, thank heaven. Well... Hudson, five goals, and Robin Close gave a foolish a 15 or 30 metre no, penalty Close away. He's been playing fairly well. Well, he's not playing that well when you see five goals on the board no, for Hudson the third. But just this the same, the ball's coming down that quickly. Poor old Robin Close hasn't got time to get his bearings because Hudson uh, has got plenty of time and plenty of opportunities to break clear. We're back to the centre now. It'll be Simon Madden against uh, Don Scott. Don Scott covered in mud right from his. Uh, Boots up to the top of his head. Knocked out by Matt, but grabbed by Rice. No one can click clear now as Matthews gets one on the head that time and the umpire's going to ball it up again as Matthews tries to sneak off without anybody <laughs> seeing if you could do that. <laughs> by golly, you'd hardly notice that guy. 
Back to the center again. It'll be a ball up. Knocked out by Scott, intercepted by uh, Fletcher. Isn't that too many kicks? Oh, there's a ball goes back, a free kick to Primer. Thank heavens we got this little kid. Well, he kicked a goal from round about this position yeah. before, Lou. He's already kicked uh, one goal, and uh, of course, this is only kicked two, so it's half their score. It's not a bad effort, but he hasn't had many opportunities. Pretty and what well. he has done, he's done pretty well. That's the kid coming in again from about 50 metres out. The kick is a nice one, but it doesn't quite... That makes the distance OK, but this time he's off target, and at least the Bombers score. And they go to two goals, 5-17 to uh, Hawthorne, 12-13. Let's see their score, 85 points and 28 and a half minutes gone of this th second quarter. Short passes to Moncrief from Kelvin Moore, the fullback. Hasn't gained a great deal of distance, though. The kick by Moncrief, fairly good. To the half-back flank on the outer side, an easy mark taken on the outer side wing by Ablett, Kevin Ablett. He's on the half-back flank, looking up toward the half-forward zone. The kick travelling toward the wing position. Uh, Van der Haar there for Essendon. Got a hand pass out. Been tapped down to Folds. Folds tackled by Tuck. Well caught. And the umpire said he had it too long. He had it a fortnight and Tuck will take the free kick. He'll drive up to the half-forward zone with this kick. A telling kick too. It travels well to the half-forward zone. No mark taken. Nice piece of work by Murphy. Can't get the kick in though. The opportunity existing for Bell. He drives up toward the centre of the ground. Players come out. Well, that could have been a free kick against Kevin Ablett, which it should have been. And the umpire now penalising it. Essendon coming forward. The ball with Fletcher on the or in the centre of the ground. It's got over the mark slightly. And a 15-metre penalty will be applied against Don Scott. He expected that. But that gave all the Hawthorne defenders time to pick up their, their Essendon opponents. So Fletcher will have this kick from 60 metres out. Kick travelling on its way toward the forward pocket and the mark taken by Crow. It's about the first mark he's taken. Now, he shouldn't miss this one, but we can't say that with any confidence after the goal that Talbot missed from closer in. He's right on the end of the uh, square. Max Crow going in, and he's got it. Didn't get in by a great deal, but it did score. So Crow has kicked his first goal and the third goal on the board for Essendon. But Hawthorne have 12 goals, 13, 85 points, and Essendon on three goals, 5-23. And we've played 30 minutes of this quarter. There's uh, Crow in your picture. He's taken two marks, as a matter of fact, Jack, and I think uh, about three kicks he's had for the match. So it's back to the centre now. Essendon in a very frustrating position. And they've been completely swamped by Hawthorne, who've played very strong football. They've played good football, and when the rough stuff uh, took uh, or came on the scene, they were well uh, in the van there. They handled themselves pretty well. The ball back now towards Foles. He can't pick it up. Andrews has been in the thick of all the rough stuff as the ball comes out a little primer. A nice turn away from his opponent at that time as he gets it down there, going after his Wells. He couldn't take the mark, and the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket. It's about uh, 20 metres around from the Aston goal. Let's see if they can get another one, because at least it'll make their score look a little bit respectable. It'll be Crow and Moncrief coming at the back as Moore. Actually, Moore got the knockout. Roberts has grabbed, finally comes back to Walsh. He's grabbed, kicked off the ground by Walsh again. That defence of Hawthorne's too strong, and uh, we see Knights take a mark. Hand pass coming back here to Rice, and Rice finally shoots the ball down towards the half-forward line. Oh, good pick-up by Newton as he kicks the ball back towards the half-forward line for Essendon. Going out to meet it is Roberts. He gets it on the first top. He's gone for a pass to, to Fields. Fields put one hand up. Good pick-up by Primer. Hand pass coming over to Walsh. Can he kick it? He's balked. He's down. He's going to fire now. And he's, what has he done? One point. My God, that kid played well coming around the boundary line, Primer. So it's 12-13-85 uh, Hawthorne to Essendon. 3-6-24. So there's a difference of... Uh, 61 points at the moment and 32 minutes gone of this um, second quarter. Michael Moncrief looking for and finding Michael Tuck on the half forward or half back flank for Hawthorne. He drives up to the wing position. Players Murphy in there and so is Manet. Neither take the mark. Ablett uh, balks out very nicely. A small kick comes up to the half forward zone as the siren sounds the end of the first half. Hawthorne on 12 goals, 13, 85 points. A well in control of the game against Essendon on three goals, six twenty-four points. I am right. That's, That's right. right. Awful. Well, you can't. All we can hope now is the next two, the second half, is a better half because we'll play either one of these next quarters coming, providing it. Start recording. Four, Ten seconds. Thank you.
start of the uh, third quarter, and we see uh, Hawthorne in front by 61 points. Up goes Scott, gets the knocker, but it comes back to Madden. Can all, uh, Eston get back or make themselves look a little bit more respectless? Vanderhaar drives it over the half forward line. Out it goes now, going after Scanlon. But Polkinghorne beats him for the ball, drives it out there. Manane couldn't take the mark, but Hawthorne, as usual, are backing up. And this time it's Rice that takes the ball down there, but a good safe mark taken by Andrews. Been in plenty of trouble this match. They've been in the thick of things, but it hasn't helped Eston at all. Up they go, taken off the pack by Tuck, who's been a prolific kick getter over to Scott. Up it goes to the full forward position, but it's out of bounds. Hudson's kicked five goals up to the first half and uh, looking always dangerous. Waiting for the ball to come back into play from that forward pocket position. They're 85 points, Hawthorne to Western 24. Going at the back was Torbett, got the knocker, but once again we see Rowling's trying to go clear. Nice hand pass out to Martello, a left foot snap, he's hooked it back. Well, like one of my golf shots as it goes out of, no, not out of bounds. On the boundary line is Hudson, finally picked up by Fletcher. Hasn't been sighted much today, but he's had plenty of mates for rest as the ball goes out now. Out to uh, Jeff Ablett, he turns. Knight's doing a bit of shoving him, he gives a, a nice pass out there. And then we see the ball picked up by uh, Rice. Shoots it across there in front is my name, but uh, we've got a mark here to Newton, a little short of centre-half back for Essendon. Newton will take his free, or his mark, not his free kick. From the half back line, looking across to the outer side, weak position, gone for the short pass. He's going the long way around now, but uh, the opportunity exists here for uh, Neagle. He's driving up toward Waltz, breaking away from the opposition. Chance for Eston to come forward. There's an opportunity for Crow, post to Moncrief. Welch went the big punch from the back of the pack, picked up by Kenny Roberts. The kick, not a good one, a chance for Fields coming through the pack. Trying to get back to his kicking foot, was pushed in the back. The umpire said play on, and the ball picked up and driven out of trouble by Welsh. For the half-back zone, Van der Haar emerges from the pack with the ball, and he will now transfer play toward the centre-half forward position. Going out is O'Halloran of Hawthorne. A hand pass finds Lee Matthews, who balks the opposition. Will drive now down to the half-forward zone. A telling kick down towards Hudson, who actually bumped close out of the way but close to his ground very well now he's gone back in business got the ball back out again toward fletcher fletcher pushed in the back will take the free kick kenny fletcher on the half back flank on the outer side essendon falling down in the forward zone this ball driven up toward the wing position now a chance for ablett in there can't pick up cleanly essendon about to come forward now madden going back to contest the mark with tuck could have given away the free kick and the umpire indicates just that has happened free kick to tuck Hawthorne playing in front all day and uh, always winning the race of the ball. That's the name of the game. Up it goes towards the centre half forward position. Beautifully knocked out to Matthews. A running shot for goal. And one point is the result. So they go to 12 14 86 to Eston 3 6 24. That Eston defence is pretty weak. It's crumbled all day and Robin Close had a very difficult job. He's had to pick up Hudson and they're bombarding the ball down there and. Uh, only natural that Hudson, such a cagey player, has got five goals on the board. There's Scott dominating the ruck, goes for the knockout again, and the ball is out of bounds. Scott's been kicking with his uh, left foot. He had one with his right foot and uh, twinged a bit, but uh, he could play him without any uh, kicks at all because there's not much opposition coming from Eston at the moment as the ball is on the ground and the umpire's found a free kick. And this time it will go to Young Primer, a 15-metre uh, penalty, and the umpire says play on. This kid's played a pretty good game considering the amount of opportunities he's had. He's gone for a pass. Oh, Watson dropped an easy mark. He's only had one kick up at this stage of the match. He's battling on. Oh, held on right on his tail. There's the kid going after the ball now, the 15-year-old, but he's put out of business. And the umpire said it's a free kick, and the crowd go mad. So it's about time we got one. But don't fall for that, a 15-metre penalty. Hawthorne have played in front, and they've certainly played the better football. Umpire's not favouring either side. Short pass, oh. he's put it out of bounds on the full. That's been... Typical of the bomber display all day today, and we'll see a free kick going down there, a penalty, and it will go to uh, O'Halloran out there on the half-back line for Hawthorne. Yes, Watson very quick, uh, tried to get the ball moving quickly, but his foot pass was a bad one. Now O'Halloran will take the kick and drive Essendon back to the half-back line again. Chance now for Talbot, got the big punch. Primer going over the half-forward zone, up toward Fields. Can Fields take the mark? He's in the pack, but can't take at the mark has been taken by Kelvin Moore. Played very been, well, Moore, too, Jack. Yes, he's been a good player. Hasn't had a great deal to do, but he's done it well. 
Michael Moncrief on the outer side now, driving to the half forward zone. Fletcher coming up for Essendon, can't take Mark when you're standing on your hero. There's a now a chance for Murphy driving in toward Hudson, Robin Close and Hudson. Neither take it. Close picks up, no one to give it to. He'll be looking for the boundary line. A well placed kick has found the boundary line, and the throne will now take place on the half forward zone for Hawthorne. But on the members side, will land about 55 metres out from goal. Madden. And there is Payton, and the free kick going to uh, Pay uh, to Madden of Essendon. Well, looking upfield, there's no one he can give the ball to, really. He's gone for the short one toward Robbins. Robbins got the hands of it, couldn't hold the mark. O'Hallor, he's played well. Got it over the tackle, was caught in possession. Play on to the call. Martano picks up, barges his way through the pack, down towards Hudson. Talbot and Hudson. Hudson got in the back of Talbot. No free kick. Close in there for Essendon. Can't get it out. Murphy hooks it out nicely. The ball tapped oh. out once again. Picked up by Manain. Shot for goal is terrible. I think it's gone over the boundary line on the full. And the, the free kick will go to Ken Fletcher. Fletcher will take that penalty free kick. Hawthorne 86 points to Essendon 24. Six minutes gone to the third quarter. And things are looking still pretty grim for rest as the ball drops short and Primer once again. Thank heavens, got this little fella playing. He's been their best player by far. Hasn't wasted many kicks. A 15 metre penalty. Look at this going on here now. Another 15 metre roll. He's got him in a. Well, he's got 30 he metres there. The umpire's bringing him back right back there now. He's right. Primer on the half back line. Sheds the ball and drops a bit short. An easy mark taken there by Knights. Knights on the wing. Out there on that outer side of the ground, ready to send uh, Hawthorne deep into attack. Usually it's one fly, and now it's a good kick. Well over the half four line, up it goes. Hudson got his hands to it, couldn't hold the mark. Finally it comes out a snapshot for goal that time by Murphy. And a tough target and through for one point. So Hawthorne go to 12-15-87 to Weston 3-6-24. Seven minutes gone of this uh, third quarter as the ball is back into play again after that half back line. Players set themselves again, up they go. It's pushed out. And finally, a hand pass coming out to Rollings. Rollings going to step it across to uh, Matthews. He's outmaneuvered out that time, but the umpire has found a free kick. It'll go to Newton, a little short of the half back line, down towards the back pocket position for Essendon. Newton picking up the free kick on this occasion, going back to the outer side wing area. Vanderhaar in there, but didn't take the mark. The mark's been taken by Simon Madden. Vanderhaar should be back in his rightful spot at half forward because while he's down there on the half back line, Essendon have no one to kick to, but it won't matter. Tuck's going to take it away again for Hawthorne and drive down to the toward the forward pocket position. The ball very close to the line, but the mark has been taken and it's playing on now. A high kick toward uh, Manane in there. Uh, Payton, I'm sorry. A hand pass comes out now to Ablett. This is Kevin Ablett shooting at goal. A very lackadaisical shot at goal, if you don't mind me saying so. And a, only one point result. That was a poor shot. I don't know whether he's a left footer or not, but uh, that was a terrible... Attempt to score, only one point. Robin Close now looking for the short pass. Newton once again will take it for Essendon and go to the outer side. Van der Haar will contest this one, I would think, against Knights. Knights got the big fist into the ball, drove it down. Manane now getting the ball moving very quickly to Scott. Scott trying to break it, he just barged his way past Van der Haar and taps it out. Coming in is Robbins. Coming on the scene also was uh, Payton of, of Hawthorne. He can't do a great deal with it. Robbins once again winning possession for Essendon and driving up to the vacant half forward zone. Peter Welsh coming out for Hawthorne, showing pace and strength. He drives down to the half forward zone. Hawthorne about to go into attack through, uh, through Leon Rice. He kicks high. Hudson coming out, but too late on the scene. The ball tapped down to Andrews. He tries to barge through. He was caught in possession with the ball tapped out once again. It's tapped on out toward Robbins. Tuck got in the way. Kicked the ball out to Lee Matthews. Hand passes back to uh, uh, Kevin Ablett. The shot for goal this time is offline. And another point resulting. I think he is a left footer, Jack. That was another left foot uh, shot for goal by uh, Kevin Ablett. Playing his first game. Of course, his brother's a seasoned player for uh, Hawthorne on the other wing position. So it's 12-17-89 Hawthorne to Western 3-6-24. Nine minutes gone. Of the third quarter, the ball goes out wide. Now to that... Uh, position there where we see the ball picked up by Roberts. He drives it out towards the wing position, but they're too strong. There's Knights taking a mark over Vanderhaar. Vanderhaar's supposed to be playing at centre-half forward. If they ever get it up there, there's no one to kick it to. That's been their trouble all day. There's no one up there in uh, the attack at all. The ball punched away. Matthews forcing his way through the pack. They're letting him do as he likes. See, look at him keep on going as he'll have a snapshot for goal now. You can only put down your glass. Now he's off target, and it's through for one point. So they go to 12-18. 90 points, Hawthorne, to Eston, 3-6-24. Just as well they're off the target, that would have been a 1,000 goals in front. Well, Matthews has kicked two goals, six. 
Well, he's had plenty of chances. He's getting very little opposition from that uh, from that defence down there. They've brushed aside easily, and consequently, it's making it very hard for Robin Close. Mining Hudson has already kicked five goals. Picked up by Bell. The ball driven out wide. Going after his Palkinghorn. Also going after his Jeb Ablett. Palkinghorn shepherds off. That's Hawthorne's play as we see Ablett uh, get the ball back now. There's a chance now for Eston to get it clear as Walsh kicks it across towards centre field. And the mark to Robbins. Now's a chance for Eston to go further forward. Down it goes towards a scandal. He's got the mark. He's a good way out from goal, about 55 to 60 metres out. He's gone for a short pass. And a mark taken here by Neagle. Neagle would be uh, 45 metres out from goal, just about directly in front. And believe you me, they badly need a goal now. That'll be the understatement of the year. Kick by Neagle. Oh, he's off target and it goes through for one point. That's all they need now. One guy missed a goal there in that uh, second quarter from five metres out, Talbot. And that was unbelievable when they badly needed a bit of a run on. So they go to 3-7-25 to Hawthorne, 12 18 90 at the 11-minute mark of the third quarter. One creep was looking for Knights, but he's found O'Halloran. A hand passes on here. Hawthorne about to come forward. Martello makes position and accepts a nice pass. No, he can't accept it. Vanderhaar doing the heavy work for Essendon. Tackling Martello. Can't get the boot to it. Andrews is there and Martello pays the penalty. He's just about to go quick. Then realise that uh, the umpire only gives him 15 metres against him. He gives back, gives back the football very nicely indeed. Vanderhaar driving up to the half-forward zone. Watson in there in the pack for Essendon. No, Hadleman also. He was being held. The umpire quickly picked that up. The young um, umpire there was Rowan Soares, a new umpire, having his fifth senior game, only 22 years of age. What a great future he'd have in VFL football. Doing a fair job too. O'Halloran getting the benefit of the 15 metres now. A small kick, not a great one, down toward Vanderhaar, went over his head. Newton was there, but Matthews chips in plenty of time. Balks through the pack easily, down towards Hudson. Hudson breaks away from close. Here comes Fletcher. Fletcher on the scene to try and tap it forward. And kicked off the ground by Murphy. Another goal to Murphy. I'd say that's his third goal. Good football. He backed Hudson up very well. He did compete against Hudson once early in the game. When Hudson had the ball in his hand, Murphy tapped Incidentally, it away. Incidentally, Jack uh, Fletcher, I think, hit the post. And they uh, full back for Eston. Close is calling for the train. They must have cut his head. I'll just so I get a picture of that. He's there right we see, on the goal line, yes. Right on the goal line. He's hit the post and uh, looks as though he's cut his head pretty badly there. And Fletcher, the captain of uh, uh, Eston, in the hands of the trainer, has got a nasty knock on the post. Or we might have caught, caught a boot as they were going in for the ball there. I don't know. But he's not uh, that badly hurt that he can't uh, stand up. They've got him on or getting under his feet now as we see Primer go for a pass out there to, uh, to watch it. Oh, his hand pass is intercepted by O'Hall and he's grabbed. But he still gets the ball out to Rowlings. They're too strong, Hawthorne. There's plus the uh, younger, inexperienced uh, Eston side apart, and we see the ball going out to Murphy now. Back to Jeff Ablett. Hawthorne running around uh, their opponents as if they're not there. The ball goes up to the full forward zone. Chance for Payton. He might get a free kick here. Now a touching on the boundary line. He's going to have a snap for a goal. He's going to make it easy. This guy's dropped the ball. He'll be holding a play on his goal. He's still gone for a pass. Out it goes now to Tuck. Tuck will turn away. There's no opposition at all for Eston. He's put it through for a goal. By golly, did they do it easy? They're making Hawthorne look like world beaters. Well, not that damn good, for heaven's sake. They're as weak as water rest at the moment. There we see Fletcher on his feet, getting a bit of attention, and we see the score. Hawthorne 14-18, 102 to Weston, 3-7-25, putting up a real pathetic performance. Uh, uh, Fletcher going back on the ball again now. So now he got across the eyebrow, Jack. Yes, yeah, so I... I think they might have whacked a little uh, one of those clips into it, Lou, to hold it together for a while until they get a chance to stitch it up. The ball back in the centre, hit out by Scott. Essendon a chance if Robbins can pick up. The, oh, that was Neagle. Neagle now got a hand pass to Andrews. He hand passes to Robbins. Robbins now left footing it up to the half forward zone. And the pack was uh, Scanlon couldn't take it. Kelvin Moore has played very coolly and very well. Driving down toward uh, Benane on the centre wing position. Taken away nicely on this occasion by Robbins. Robbins now, the short pass to Kenny Roberts, but he's kicked just inside the boundary line. And we'll see a boundary throw in take place and the half forward flank for Essendon. Essendon trailing on 3 7 25. Hawthorne 14 18, 102 points, heading for the sweep, I'd say. There's the tap down by Vanderhaar. The opportunity for Knights had the ball but lost possession, pushed in the back, but got a hand pass working anyhow. Moncrief, a uh, hurried kick, not a bad one, down towards Hudson, who will fly over the top of Robin Close. 
getting up in front was Payton, but the hand pass came out very nicely indeed, and the shot for goal by Leon Rice is offline and out of bounds, and we'll see a penalty free kick going against Hawthorne. The kick will be taken by Talbot. Well, they got him away from the goal post very quickly, Lou, after missing that easy goal. And all right, put him 14, 18, 102, Hawthorne to Western, 3, 7, 25. And we see a mark going there to uh, Payton. Hand pass over to Martello. Hooked it back over his shoulder. Let's see what's going to happen here. Matthews gone for the punch that time. Trying to get it out to uh, Kevin uh, Ablett. Oh, screw over his head that time. Up towards the full forward zone. Hudson got his hands with couldn't hold the mark. There's Payton getting it out. They're going in pretty hard, Hawthorne. They're not messing about as Matthews comes out with the ball. He'll snap for goal, but it's off target. Doesn't even reach the distance, OK. And it's through for one point. So they go to 14-19, 103 points to Western 3-7. 25 points, 15 minutes gone of this third quarter. And I'll bet your life that Aston wish this game was over because the further it goes, the more embarrassed they're looking. Young Primer, one of the only, one of the very few players playing pretty well for uh, Aston. He kicks it out wide, going after his Knights. They can't touch it to be there at all, the forwards, and he takes it away from Vanderhaar. Up gets Tucker, he's given a free kick, and it'll go. No, he's going oh, to get the free kick himself against uh, Bell, I'd say. And now he's got the free kick. It'll only be about. 55 metres out, got the win right on his tail, already kicked one goal and could easily kick this one and make it uh, Hawthorne's 15. It's a long kick, but it's off the top of the pack and through for one point, and they go to 14 goals, 19, 105, uh, 105 points to Eston, 3, 7, 25, 16 and a half minutes gone of the third quarter. 14 20 is the I'm score. I'm sorry, 14 20. He's a bit, uh, a bit Running slow out. on that occasion, but there the ball tapped out of bounds by Ablett, and we'll see a boundary throw him take place. If Lee Matthews could kick a goal before Essendon score, he would have kicked Essendon's total of three goals, seven. At this stage, he's 2 7. The ball now hand passed out, a chance for Benane. He was too slow to get it away, and their free kick will go to Andrews of Essendon. He's on the half back flank position, hand pass comes up, and Watson. About to go through the centre of Prince's Park. Finds Robbins. Essendon going forward. 60 metres out. Robbins lines up. Can't control the kick at all. He was looking for Crow, but he's found the boundary line some 25 metres away from the centre of Essendon's goal. A bad kick by Robbins. Crow had no hope of getting to it at all. Boundary throw in taking place. Kelvin Moore on the screen with Scanlon of Essendon. Doing the ruck work will be Kelvin Moore and Scanlon. The two in the picture. Over the back came O'Halloran, got a big punch away from the pack too. Hawthorne coming forward, but Robbins in the way. He can get up, get one going quickly, get a short pass in. There it is now, and a charge down for a score as Walsh accepts the mark and will take the shot from 40 metres out. On the mark is Kelvin Moore, Walsh taking the shot, hopeful to kick Essendon's fourth goal. We're 17 minutes into the third quarter. Essendon have 3 7 on the board, and Walsh changes that. The Bronx tier comes from the Essendon supporters as the fourth goal is posted and 4-7 comes up to the Dons and 14-20, 104 for Hawthorne. Approaching the 19-minute mark of the third quarter and uh, they've certainly got a long way to go yet. A long, long way. And there's a change coming on. We see uh, Mansfield ready to come on the ground for Essendon and we'll find out who goes off in a moment. I think it might be Fields the way the runner's going. Well, he's only had about two kicks, Fields, and we'll see if... Uh, their coach drags him off the ground. Yes, it's never feels to come off, and uh, of course he wouldn't be too happy about it, but he's played a pretty poor game. And, a nice uh, smile crossed his face, as he was told, and he just walks off. OK, back to the centre now. A chance for the ball to get away from the centre. We see Rice battling hard, and the umpire said throwing the ball, and a free kick will go to Neagle. Yes, and showing a little bit more spirit at this stage of the match now, but goes a chance for Crow. He tried to smother the ball. He's got it. He's grabbed and uh, the ball goes back to Rollins. Always too many Hawthorne players around. They're playing strong football. That's a bad kick. But Andrews went up one-handed. He's got a chance to recover. He does. Doesn't quite know where to go. He gets it out to Robin close there on his own. Does a nice side step and boots the ball back now towards the wing position. This is Applett trying to smother her again. Beats it away. Knocks it over to Scott. But he overruns the ball. In goes Madden. What right on his tail is Scott. And I think he'll give him a free kick. He has. And a free kick will go there to Madden. Scott jumping up full of fire. He's in a bit of a class there in that second quarter with uh, with Andrews. The ball back again as it comes out of the pack. But there we see Tuck, who's had a lot of kicks today. Boots the ball back towards that half-forward line. Coming out as Manane. Picks it up pretty well, too. Hawthorne handling the ball well as it goes over to Rice. And Rice shoots the ball down towards Matthews, and he's got an easy mark. And he's only about 50 metres out of hand pass. Coming over to big old pal Martello. He fires for goal. And the umpire doesn't even move, and that's Hawthorne's 15th goal on the board. 
15 20. 114 Hawthorne to Eston 4 7 31 every time Eston get a goal Hawthorne reply with about four or five more well Lou it looks like uh, you, if it was uh, dark you'd think you're watching the Amco Herald game that we saw Hawthorne Eston play the other week well I don't know what to think Jack but I think this is a pretty uh, weak performance by Eston and uh, it's all right saying they're inexperienced and all this jazz but they did start the rough things up I'm not saying they did start it but when the going did get rough they were no opposition at all to uh, Hawthorne. They just brushed them aside completely and they took over the game. You can see the result on the board now. Yeah, it's a big lead there, 110 to 31, and the umpire indicates a field bounce taking place right in the centre of Prince's Park. The time clock showing 20 minutes gone in the third quarter and the scoreboard showing the, an obvious result coming up. It's been tapped out of a push in the back, I think, to uh, Mansfield. It just came on and Mansfield will take the free kick. Looks for somewhere to go hasn't got his footing yet, he slipped on that occasion to try and get a short pass away and poor disposal finds Ablett. Ablett hand passing out now to Matthews, Matthews on centre wing, looking for somewhere to give it to, he's got, gone down towards Hudson, Hudson won't make the kick before it runs out of bounds and we'll see a throw in take place about 50, 60 metres out from Hawthorne's goal. It's in the forward pocket area. Payton doing battle out there with Talbot. The ball tapped out and taken by Bell of Essendon. He hooks back. Oh, very high kick. A bad kick. Carroll straight in, straight in toward Rowlings. Only 40 metres out from goal. A bad piece of football there. Rowlings will be going for his third goal. Bad football by Bell. Makes uh, Hawthorne's task that much easier, doesn't it? 15, 20, 110. Rowlings going for goal number three, but misses it badly. It's just got in for a point, I think. The umpire indicates that, and we see their score. Hawthorne moved their score to 15 21, 111. So, 111 to 31, 80 points the difference. And Essendon uh, don't only need goals, I think they need Aspros. Well, they've had, uh, let's see, uh, 36 uh, uh, shots for goal, plus the, not count the ones out of bounds to Essendon's 11. I think that would be the maximum for Essendon's 11 shots because the ball has hardly been up their forward line right throughout the match. There we see the ball finally pushed as a free kick and it'll go to Foles, I'd say. Yes, Foles to take that free kick out there towards the wing. He's gone for a short pass and as usual, it's been a bad one and a mark taken by Tuck. He's knocked up having kicks too, but he's had plenty of mates. Down goes Roberts from the... Uh, a knock from... Um, oh, look oh. at that for a hand pass. Did Roberts put uh, Andrews under the hammer? Finally, he kicks it off the ground and the Rolling umpire free kick. has found a free kick to Rollins. He's not too good, he's a bit groggy. He ran into Andrews. Well, he certainly came out of it a bit shaken up, but he's got the free kick. A little shorter centre half fought up towards the centre of the ground. Rollins. Every player in the Hawthorne player in the Hawthorne side's had plenty of touches today as we wait now for Rollins to send them deep into attack. And now he's gone for a hand pass. They're doing it easy. Scott tries to get it over to Rice. Back to Martello. Do as you like down there because there's no opposition. Finally, we see Newton get it back now. In the front there is Negan. He's got the mark. He's got to pay that. No, he's not. By golly, should have played that as Vanderhaar finally took the ball away. Down it goes towards Polkinghorne and Walsh. Polkinghorne goes down, this gives Walsh a chance. Hand pass over to Bell. What will he do with it? He's going to, oh, he's fallen over. Now he's got a hand pass to Walsh as he put him under the hammer. He's pushed in the back. And they'll get a free kick here, Eston, at about 35 metres out from goal. Walsh on a very slight angle, oh, about a 45 degree, but at least he's kicking on his right foot. He's a right footer. And... Uh, He's already kicked one goal. Walsh, usually a pretty accurate kick for goal, the ex-Carlton player. Comes in for his kick now. And uh, we'll see the result, and it's no worries about that one. And Eston go now to uh, five goals, 7.37, to Hawthorne, 15.21.111. So there's still a heck of a gap between those two scores at the 23-minute mark of this third quarter. Well, he should know the uh, the goals here at Princess Park. He came from Carlton to Essendon. He certainly uh, is among the goal kickers for the Bombers on two goals out of Essendon's five. Ball back in the centre. Time clock showing. We're just about to go into time on. We've played about 24 and a half minutes now. Don Scott giving instructions in the centre. As umpire Rowan Shaw's Saws comes in to put it down. The ball tapped away by Mansfield. He's had a couple of touches early. Well, there's Knights trying to get the ball away, but can't do so. Tapped out by Robbins. Knights in business once again. And underneath there was Van der Haar. And Van der Haar comes out with it for Essendon. A hurried kick up to the half forward zone. O'Hallon in front. Can't take the mark. Kelvin Moore does that and drives back towards the centre of the ground. No mark taken. Could have been a free kick, though. The umpire indicating that. And Folds will get up to take the kick for Essendon. Roberts and uh, Tuck having a bit of a battle out there. Uh, 
Now we see Folds going back to take the kick for the Bombers up toward the half-forward zone. Undermanned there at centre-half forward. Mansfield once again in business for Essendon, but can't get away with it, and the umpire indicates a bounce will take place. Mansfield thought it was his free kick, but the umpire had other ideas. 25 minutes now gone. We are now into time on in the third quarter. Back it goes to Primer. Up it goes towards Cronow. He hooks the ball over his head, but uh, there we see uh, once again the ever-reliable uh, Calvin Moore to take a mark. He hasn't had many opportunities, but he hasn't failed once. This time he... Oh, goodness, he a mark to Roberts. An open go for a goal. He's put it through. And that's the Bombers' sixth goal. They go to six goals, seven. 43 points to Hawthorne, 15, 21, 111 points. But by golly, just, as I said before, still a heck of a way behind the, the Hawthorne score, but at least they're playing a lot better football towards the end of this quarter. They well, that was a nice goal by Robert. Well, very nice. Still really a patient. mark too, he Jack. He did it very well indeed. He beat two opponents to get that. Moore <laughs> placed the ball well enough out to Peyton, and, and Peyton a bit slow to move in, but Roberts did it very well. A well deserved goal. 25 minutes gone of this third quarter, and... Uh, Eston playing a lot better as we see Matthews try to get it clear. The umpire said holding the man and Matthews takes a free kick at centre field. Matthews now ready to send them into attack. He'll drive this one over the half forward line. He does too. Oh, pushing up. No, he set a mark to a Pike. The hand pass over to uh, uh, Kevin Albert. Ablett, a fire for goal, but he's up target and through for one point. So they go to 15, 22, 112 Hawthorne to Eston, 6, 7, 43. And we're into the time on period by about a minute and a half of this third quarter. Well, I've seen Ablett, that's Kevin Ablett, have three shots for goal for three points, so he's off target, Louis. And, uh, and I said before about Kelvin Matthews, he's kicked two goals, seven. No, 22 points have been put up there by the Hawthorne players. 15 22, 1 1 2 to 6 7 43. As Robin Close drives to the outer side, Big Scott in the pack. It's been tapped down to scan, and he's caught by Martello. The hand pass came very fast. Hello, it's on again. Madden coming on the scene. It's, I thought he's going to try and start something there. Martello going back. Madden going crooked. Umpire Harvey Lyons. Won't do him much good. Another 15 metre penalty will be applied here. Scanlon's free kick. Some of these players are get a bit carried away. There's the kick going on its way by Scanlon. Up to the half forward zone. Moncrief got up high, but the man to take the mark was O'Halloran. O'Halloran looking down. He's played very well indeed, too. He's looking out to the outer side and found Manane with a nice, nicely placed pass. He's on centre wing on the outer side and comes in toward the half forward zone. Tuck about to fly in the pack but changes his mind and awaits the crumb. The hand pass comes up. Lee Matthews going goalward. There could be uh, another behind, I think. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's, no, a, it's goal. a goal. So he's kicked three goals, seven now, out of the Hawthorne total of 16 goals, 22. And as I said a few moments ago, when uh, Hawth, uh, Essendon only had 2 7 on the board, or 3 7 on the board, Matthews had kicked 2 7, only had their own, uh, the Essendon total up. But the Essendon have improved in the last few minutes, and Hawthorne now is still running control. They won 6 7, uh, the Essendon side is 6 7 43, and Hawthorne 16 22 1 1 8. Oh, they've always got the answer. The Bombers looking good for about five minutes, then the Hawks take over completely and look a strong side once again. But don't kid yourself, they're not as good as this because. There's Matthews again. He's had a thousand kicks today as it goes up to Hudson and uh, Robin Close. It's close to be paid the free kick. And Hudson not too happy about it. And the Essendon supporters going mad. Do they say it's about time we got a free kick? And a 15 metre penalty against it's about a 30 metre penalty against Hudson. And Robin Close goes up to centre half, uh, centre half back. But when you play from behind, you've got to give free kicks away. And that's why they're sucking the cut. Oh, beautiful mark to Madden that time. A beautiful mark. He and Scott have had a couple of uh, tussles. Scott not giving an inch there, creeping over he, the mark a little bit. He pinched a couple. There's the go now by Madden, up towards the full forward zone. They're all in the air. All having a grab, a chance now for Scanner. Walsh has got a snapshot for goal. It looks good. Now it's off target. And finally off the hands of Knights that time and through for one point. And Eston go to six goals, 8.44 to uh, Hawthorne, 16.22, 118. And we've played about four minutes of time on the ball. Back into play over to Rice, over to Moore. Ball shot around towards the wing position now. A chance for Kevin Ablett to get the mark. He loses it. Goes after it again. Gives a hand pass back to Rollins. Up it goes across to the centre-half forward position. Getting up high that time was uh, was Peyton. Couldn't hold the mark. That no, was Murphy, I should say. And the umpire's going to ball it up as we see Peyton and, uh, and Fletcher having a bit of a ding-dong battle. Up it goes again. Torbert and Peyton going for it. 
Torbett gets it out, but he gets a push on the back, and down he goes, and Torbett takes a free kick as the siren sounds for the end of the third quarter, and we see Hawthorne in a commanding position. 16 goals, 22, 118 points to Eston, 6 8, 44 points. That was a little bit better, Alf. 